Hey, I'm Nikki Lux, and I've been getting asked a lot to do a how to fin video. So I thought I'd make one. First things first, uh, the sword of my hand, that is a mod. I'll put it in the link in the description if you want to use it. It's pretty easy to install. But yeah, let's get to it. Pretty much the, uh, his most important move is the gem. So to get the gem, just hit the enemy. They'll drop gold, obviously. And, uh, when you press down B in the air, your gem will spawn. To pick it up, you gotta just press your pick up item button. I recommend binding it to a different button than it's already bound to. I've bound to LB. And I'd also turn off all uh, attacks, pick up item. So it kind of like gets in the way a lot of times. That's what I do. So you press down B, you grab it, throw with your attack button. When you side B, you TP to it. If you have no money, you pick up an apple, which uh, it can be useful. You can get like projectile things like uh, ignite or slowness. And you can use the start combo music like that which is pretty nice so make sure to always be using this you can use the close gla close gaps you can use it to recover it, it, it can be used for literally everything in this kit like make sure to abuse this next thing you really pretty much want to abuse his moving charge attacks this one his neutral strong is pretty bad i don't recommend using that a lot but down strong and up strong and honestly forward strong are all pretty good Forward strong combos into both of his other strongs, so like that, like that. Which is obviously pretty good, especially in this map, so you can like hit him with down strong. But if you want to start a combo, go up strong. And obviously you can start from there. The up strong is pretty good at killing, at pretty pretty high percent you can kill, but you can also combo with it like that. So up strong is pretty much your go-to combo. And then this one's your go-to kill. And forward tilt, which is a good way to like start into any of those. And this one, it's pretty, it could be used for some things, but I don't recommend using it too often. To, to kill on Finn is actually kind of difficult sometimes because you need money pretty much. Your up B does more damage the more money you have. So if I get a thousand gold here, your C is going to go flying. All right, he's at 86% if I up B him here. Look how far he went. Now, if I put him on that again, but I do it with no money. Look, he went nowhere. So you pretty much, if you want to use up B to kill, make sure you have enough money. Next important thing on Finn are his items. Pretty much, boot to speed is by far his best item. Armored Buns is bugged right now, so don't buy it. In BMO, he has his purposes. But Armored uh, Boot to Speed, you move 10% faster, which makes you like the fastest character in the game. When you buy it again, I believe it's a 6% speed boost, and then every purchase after that's a 4%. So you pretty much only want to buy up to the second boots. Armored Buns is bugged right now, and I could show you why. All right, so he's going to throw the pie. I block it, and I still get slowed. So pretty much every projectile in this game that does something like that, where it gives you some kind of debuff. Like, uh, I'll show you. Taz gives you, like, the salt thing. Uh, Batman gives you weakness. Or Harley's Ignite you. Uh, I don't think it even blocks knife. I, I Thelma gives you, like, the speech bubble debuff. Like, almost every projectile does something like that. And on top of that, it costs more than the boots of speed, which just have way more purposes. So, never buy this item unless you're playing its Ryan Dog. I recommended it there. Uh, Bimo, he he's a weird one. So Bimo has his own hurt box, which means he can block attacks for you. But he's also a thousand golds, and if you have him, you can't use your down B like your gem. You can't use it, or and you can't go in the shop. So he'll follow you around. Next time you down B, he'll just Bimo chop, which is a pretty strong move, but. Oh, it's a thousand gold, which means now your up B is not going to kill as often because you have no gold. But he does block attacks for you. I don't know if I could show it very well. There we go. I have the gold. Let's see. No, it does not. Unless I jump. Yeah, see that? He will block attacks for you if you are uh, in the right spot. Obviously, it's pretty hard to do with this, but um, it's not not completely useless. And then he has the Bemo Chop, which has armor on it and kills. I think next thing to go over are his special uh, perks. Sorry. 
so pretty much these two perks are not both of them are pretty bad on the house is bugged and going out of business just is only good for 2v2s you going out of business is never going to be useful on a 1v1 because you only get the discount if you reach 100 percent which isn't that often obviously and on the house gives you a f it says it gives you a free gem after do doing a uh connected fully charged attack but that is just a lie. If you hit a fully charged attack, it will pay you. Like, you will lose the money for the gem. Which makes it not great. Because you, if you have no money, you get an apple. So, it just does not work as intended. But it's still better than going out of business in solo. It's just because you just it's going to do something. Um, My perks. So, you always want to run triple jump. Because a lot of your combos will... You'll need a triple jump to kill with them. And you don't even want to stack it, honestly. If you have a teammate and they you don't need you don't need both of you to run triple jump unless you have like trouble recovering. But like stuff stuff something like that. You know, you wanna be able to jump three times. It's 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 really important. Like you always need to run this. See, if he wanted to recover, I can just punch him there and he die. Uh, Tasmanian trigonometry makes it easier to DI, so I really can't show it. Just take my word for it. But DI just comes a lot easier if he uh, if he gets knocked back, you get to control where you're getting launched to easier, which makes you long makes you live longer, which is pretty good for a squishy like Finn. And then that's flammable dock. I run that or ice to beat you. That's important because if you do that inside B, that's an extra two percent right there. And what makes that so important is that works on Apple. So this does 3% by usually, right? Do with that, that's 5% from an apple. And that's kind of ridiculous. Obviously, if you get attacked K, it stops working. But it's still pretty damn useful. And now you want to switch that out with Ice to beat you. And any, like, any matchup where you have trouble keeping up. Because it's going to slow them down. You, you, don't even have to, you don't have to hit them to like, start it either. You just slow them down. And it slows down all of their movement. Including their DI. When that is ridiculous. If you know what DI is, it lets that's what helps you like escape combos. Like, let me show you. Five bugs bunny here. I put him on his forward attack. To escape that, you know, you hold left to get out of it. That's your DI. So imagine that was slower, so it's harder to get out. That that's ridiculous, right? Yeah. That's why it's so good. Besides that, I think I've covered everything I really want to. Again, this is kind of like really rushed just because people have been asking for it. But I hope you got what you wanted. If you have any questions, just comment them and uh, I'll see you later.